Appreciate it, Ryan. Welcome. Thank you. Congratulations. First step, final four. How's it feel? Good. Feels good. After a tough season, we are finally here and we are, I think, very excited. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's been a long, tough season and uh, to put the season we have together and, and to be part of this Final Four, it's, it's an amazing opportunity for, for us as players and for the club in general. You guys had an incredibly consistent season. Played very well throughout the year. Defensively, you played extremely well. And then look at you guys chipped up a little bit against Barcelona in the first couple of games. And then something, something just clicked in like game four in game five. Did y'all feel a difference? Did you, did you, did you know something was happening? Or well, it just happened? I think playoffs is, is the toughest moment of the season and we're facing uh, Barcelona, which is a, a team with the goal to go come to the final four. And uh, we knew it wasn't going to be easy, but uh, uh, at the same time, we knew it was a big opportunity for us having the home advantage, home court advantage. So we had to to use it and, and be a strong in those last games. Ryan, you struggled a little bit throughout the first couple of games and, mm -hmm. and I was I had the, the fortunate, I, I was able to commentate that last game and, and I saw your face light up in a couple threes in mm -hmm. the first half. And <laughs> and it was like, you know, you had that face where, man, they're going in finally. How'd that feel? It felt really good. Yeah, the, the first few games were, were definitely a struggle, uh, personally. Uh, you know, shots that normally were falling just weren't and, and right. just things didn't seem, seem to, to go my way and it's a huge credit to Barcelona and their scouting report and the pressure they put on. Uh, so once that first three went down in, in game five, you know, that's when the confidence came back and sort of the, the pressure that I put on myself right. kind of went away and I was able to play sort of my normal game and, and be Perfect free. Timing. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Time. All right, I've, I've asked this question to two other four other players so far. So far, I'm 50% I'm, I'm right on every one. Give me the two teams that'll be in the finals on Sunday night. Loco and... So then I got, again, I got one right. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm going to say Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona. <laughs> Fenerbahce. Um, Fenerbahce have been probably the, the most consistent team all season and we've had, you know, the privilege to play against them a few times and uh, they're really, really tough, and with uh, Vesely back, I think it's just only going to help help them. I'm going to say Loco, and I'm going to say Basconia, Victoria. I think the, Is that a Spanish thing? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think they're, they're having a great season, and uh, I think similar like us, that nobody expected them to, to be here, and we were finally here, so it will be a, a nice, nice final. Let's go back to the Spanish thing for now. Spanish guy playing in Russia, uh, not that common. Mm -hmm. how, how do you feel in Krasnodar? Uh, nice city, feel at home. You mm -hmm. uh, tapas? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I try. There, there is a nice uh, Argentinian restaurant. Okay. Which I think everybody from you the team American, goes a lot. You sound too American now compared to Argentinian to Spanish. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but they have some some tapas, some something similar. So it's nice. It's wine, Spanish wine. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, there yeah. You go. But Krasnodar is, is not the, the typical Russian city because the weather is much better than in the Moscow and Petersburg. Well, what does much better mean? No, it's, it's pretty warm. Only is it? Yeah, it's, it was only one week that was snowing, but the rest has been pretty nice. And uh, that's great for somebody from Valencia in Spain like of me. Of course. The weather is great. So. And the Australian? <laughs> Probably more rare than a Spanish in, in Russia. Um, is there a big difference between... Uh, Weather-wise, um, a little bit. I mean, where I'm from in Australia, we don't get snow. It's, it's sort of usually pretty, pretty warm. But um, as Victor said, the weather in Krasnodar has been pretty good throughout the year. We have you know, a week, 10 days of snow. Other than that, it's, it's been sunshine and, and pretty nice. So. And the city in general, um, you know, it's sort of a quiet, slow sort of city, but you know, there's good places to go eat and a few things to go and see and do, and it, it, it helps fill the time outside of basketball. You're a, you're a league rookie. <coughs> no one likes to use that word, too often, <laughs> but you know, that's, mm -hmm. it's a, believe me, for coming from an old guy, rookie's a good word always. Okay, okay. How's it, how, what, what impressed you most about the EuroLeague this year? Just the level of the competition. Um, from every team we've faced, 
Um, each game's been a tough game. You know, there's so many talented players, uh, European players, Americans, imports that come over. Um, just the level of play that that everyone plays at and the style of basketball. You know, it's it's great to watch. It's great to to be a part of and to play um, in. So it's. It's been a, a bit of adjustment coming up, but once I kind of felt comfortable, um, you know, my game sort of came out uh, and showed what I could kind of bring. Victor, you're back after your experience in Portland. Three years in Portland? Mm -hmm. Two and, and a half. Two and a half years in Portland. And, and what you come back now, didn't come back to Spain, came back to Russia, which oh. I think surprised a lot of people. Was, <laughs> What's the what's the different? What do you feel different about your game or, or about the Euro League? Do you see any differences after playing or your experience in the States or? Yeah, it's, it's different because uh, I have more experience and I, I I know how NBA works. So it's a different basketball that we can see here in Europe. So I think that that was a plus for me coming back. Uh, but I think now like Euro League didn't change too much like. Maybe my perception of other teams, like now I know more players mm -hmm. or I know better how the teams work. But it's been it's been great anyway to, to be back at the Would you go would you go back again? To the NBA? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's uh, is the moment. Uh, I had the opportunity, uh, I had to take it and uh, it was it was great in some moments. Uh, there were some tough moments too, but it's an experience, and um, I'm glad that I took that that op opportunity that I had. But I think now I have to enjoy this moment, being in a high level in Europe. Ryan, seven for ten in the regular season, right against Pinar from three. That's something don't, like don't, that. Don't, yeah, don't I, I don't, don't know. Like you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't right. know the exact numbers, <laughs> but it's a game that you, you that look like. Yeah, I, I, think so. I think I remember that game. <laughs> Well, what's what's that feel like when you're just stroking it? And, and yeah, it's it's hard to explain. It's um, it's just you feel sort of freedom just out on the court. Somehow, you keep finding ways to to be open and in spots that you like, and to to see one after the other kind of fall. You just your confidence grows, and you just get you know you kind of looking for the next one. You know, even if it's. Right. Maybe a 50 50 should I shoot, should I not? You know, you maybe you put that one well, up you're instead of passing. You shoot. You're exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so to have a game like that, um, you know, throughout pretty early in the season, I think really helped me get established and, and get confidence. And probably gave some confidence to your teammates too. I, yeah, so. I think so. I think, you know, we, we um, you know, I, I'd had sort of an a up and down start to the Euro League and, and to have a game like that and, and sort of show what I can bring. Um, you know, if, if, it, if it's my night, then, um, you know, I definitely gave confidence to, to guys to, to look for me in, in for open shots and to move the ball, etc. A couple quick questions for the both of you. Um, <coughs> toughest defender in the Euro League that you played against? <laughs> Come on, there got to be somebody out there. Uh, it's hard to pick just one. I think, I think basketball now in Europe it's it's more of team defenses than sort of any one person so yeah uh, I'll, I'll just have to say Barcelona because that's where I had the toughest you know personal uh, games I, I don't know I don't know what to say <laughs> <You don't know. laughs> alright let's make it easier <laughs> toughest stadium the stadium, that, the stadium that when you look when you when you when you start the, the season you look at that schedule you're like oh mm. damn we gotta go there and play well, I think for us this season was uh, Red Star, when we played Red Star at the Pioneer. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a great atmosphere. We didn't feel like we didn't wanted to go because I think we were excited to go there and play in front of those those guys. Yeah. But, and I think after our game, they changed to a bigger arena, so that was even probably even better. Yeah, same. same, definitely the same. Yeah, place is amazing. It is. It's yeah. a great atmosphere. Not, not too many people don't answer that. No, that that's <laughs> you can imagine. Out of the Nikers, whatever, I mean, they're, right? they're yeah. there an hour before the game. We're getting there and warming up and shooting, and they're already filling the stands, chanting mm -hmm. and singing, and yeah, it's, it's amazing. Who, who's the guy you most hang out with on the team? Well, Ryan, when he's not busy, 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have a girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. You so. have a girlfriend. Oh, that keeps you busy. <laughs> uh, then with Draper, Delaney, single yeah, we, Dante, we live yeah. all very close in the same. If you hang out with Dante, that, that might not be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a great guy. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen Dante in Madrid too many times. <laughs> no, he's he's. Hey, hey, right. Yeah, yeah, probably uh, Victor and uh, Matt Jenny. Uh, yeah, Matt. Matt's got his girlfriend over there as well. So sometimes we do so the couples and I. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Keep, keep me happy. Exactly. Keep me happy. <laughs> I mean, and what? Am, who's the funny? Who's who's like the, the funny guy to take? Who's the jokester? Who's the guy that? Who's the guy you have to keep your eye on all the time? That's I said, Max. Yeah. Max is Max Polskin. He's uh -huh. always joking. Sometimes he's in Russian and. We see all the Russians laughing, and we don't <laughs> we don't know what's, going, know what's on. going on. But, but yeah, yeah like he's he's funny. Guy. Yeah, even in his even in English, he's he's uh, yeah. quite funny. He's always little jokes. Just the just the way he speaks and the way he kind of delivers his, his uh, jokes is he's very funny. All right, last question. And again, this is based on the fact that I'm invited. <laughs> After y'all win it on Sunday night, what's the celebration gonna be like? With me involved. <laughs> well, being on a Russian team should be a lot of vodka. Now you speak my language. And shots, right? Yeah. And shots so and toast. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they do. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Who knows? But whatever, we win. All right. Well, as long as I'm there, it's all yeah, right. You'll be invited. Hey, guys, congratulations. <laughs> Good luck to you, man. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much.